This is the weekend edition of the Messerschmitt BF109 E1 from Edouard uh, in 130 second scale. This is a very nice kit, on par, uh, it, almost exactly the same as the 148 versions, uh, scaled up. Uh, this being the weekend edition means it does not come with uh, a photo etch fret or canopy masks. Being the weekend edition, it is a simplified instruction sheet, uh, much the same in many respects, but uh, not so colourful and glossy. And you get straight into it, uh, constructing the fuselage and the cockpit, the inner side of the fuselage and cockpit details, running full. The, for this does have a full engine in the box, uh, which is very nice and can be displayed open with the gun bay. Um, and fuselage halves start to come together and this is the rear firewall and uh, exposes the guns slightly and then working through we start uh, building the wings up and bringing everything together here you can see the details for the machine guns going in above the engine uh, undercarriage and then through to putting the canopy on finishing details. If you don't want to display the engine open, you skip to this step after um, a previous step and just a bit different to construct the engine and the engine cover and then adding the propeller. This is the stencil detail for adding the decals and we've got one option in here of decals from September 1939 uh, for I believe an aircraft that started to take, it took part in the Polish campaign. Decals are very nice. Um, again, swastikas are included in my version. This being a British, uh, an English version, uh, but they're not always included. Uh, hull. If you are ha uh, do have an export version, then swastikas are in two pieces, and you can add them if you wish by joining the two together. Very nice colour register and two lots of stencils all on the same sheet in two different colours. And to the kit itself uh, we do have the fuselage halves. Very nice uh, as is the case with Edouard uh, Messerschmitt's. Um, they're fully riveted uh, with engraved panel lines and they are as far as I can tell the best um, in the game certainly at the minute. They look Brilliant straight out of the box, and this is largely due due to the fine surface detail that's added. Um, the wings are in a different colour. Uh, this is probably due to the fact that you've got the E1 and the E3, which is distinguished by the bulges for the extra guns in the wing on the E3 version. This being the E1, they are removed, so uh, everything's the same. It's just a different colour plastic full riveting detail and engraved panel lines again and it really is exquisite right the way across. Then we move to the canopy sections which are very clear, really nice as is always with um, Edouard canopies and in this scale it needs to be good. Uh, there's no lensing or anything when I'm looking over this text here and you've got the early version of the canopy with the front and rear part of the canopy and the armour plate inside. Then there's a further four sprues carrying the details. Again all, ex all exquisitely moulded, no problems, no flash, nothing like that. Um, this one is generally ailerons, propeller and parts for the tail and the fin makeup. We've also got the cockpit floor and rear, which is again very nice, and the seat, which again moulded very nice. Then we've got other parts, this makes up the engine, this sprue, so we've got the two parts there that make up the engine block itself, and then there's other parts that are added to it to give you details. You've got the machine guns here, which are exposed, the top of the 
firewall and where the machine guns um, lay in the machine gun bay and very fine details, very fine moulding. You've got separate exhaust exhausts here which are hollowed out which again are very nice. Then moving on to the last two sprues these cater for a few more details. This has uh, quite a few bits for the underside of the plane as well as the uh, parts for the landing gear. Two different nose cones one of which obviously wouldn't be used for these markings and an instrument panel with raised details and lots of cockpit and a few details for the cockpit. Then the last sprue gives the side walls for the cockpit again full of detail the wheels made up of many different parts with very good tread pattern and again very fine moulding very high level of detail throughout so this kit is an option for people who perhaps don't want to be bogged down with the etch metal or, or want a quick build or it's also a very good entry point if some of these are getting a bit harder to find these days, certainly the profi pack versions. So it's a good entry point and you can obviously add anything to it if you wish. So that's the Edward Weekend Edition 132nd scale Messerschmitt BF109E1.